Buddy Jane. All right, boys, wait outside. Jane, I'm Governor Johnson. This is Commissioner of Indian Affairs, Mr. Emerson, and his secretary, Mr. Martin. I'll come right to the point. We staged that jailbreak. We wanted it to look as if your friends broke you out. We have a job for you, Jane. A job which requires absolute secrecy. How about that point you were coming to? A group of white renegades is smuggling guns to the Indians. We've got to find out who they are before we have an Indian war on our hands. Six months ago, we sent out two of our best agents. Their bodies were found horribly mutilated. We thought we'd send a woman. A woman who can take care of herself. Like me, for instance? Yes, Jane, like you. We need your help desperately. What's the price tag on this? Jane, you're facing a jail sentence of 10 years. You get those men for us, and we'll give you a pardon. A full pardon. Gentlemen, I'd like to go on record as saying we can't trust this, this... Criminal. I think we can. Here's proof of my confidence. It's mighty nice of you. Breach. Thanks for the drink, Governor. Jane, outside that window, there's no pardon. Unless you help us, the West will be drenched with the blood of white settlers. Thousands of lives, women and children. You could stand a little practice, son. I'll take a look at that pardon. Keep talking. You'll take the stage tonight. At Port Deerfield, contact a lawyer named Jim Hunter. There's a wagon train going west. You'll both join it. Hunter will pose as your husband. As man and wife, you'll be lost in the crowd on that wagon train. You'll get further instructions from Hunter. We're depending on you, Jane. I'm depending on you. And I wouldn't advise you to cross me up, gents. <laughs> So she finally agreed to go. She'll be traveling as a lady, but she's a killer, a dead shot. I found that out. Where will get her? But get her when you're sure she can't beat you to the draw. Mr. Hunter.
seat over there, dearie. There'll be one ready in a minute. Now, we'll take a look. If you don't mind my telling you, it's the one right over on Please, under... no clues. You spoil all the fun. <laughs> Pardon me. One can detect an ailing tooth by the dull sound that comes out when it is struck lightly by a hammer. Mm -hmm. That seems logical. Yeah. Here we go. Please. <laughs> Ah, oh, oh, that's it. There's the little doll right there. Now we'll uh, stand by. After discovering the ailing tooth, the next thing is to drill away the decay. Hmm. Doesn't seem logical, but I'm game. Oh, now, open, open wide. This won't hurt us a bit. Where'd you go? Now, steady now. What? Where's the guy who calls himself a painless dentist? Hey, I got a tooth that's killing me. Uh, sit down, you're next. I'll sit down. Uh, oh, that's what I say, you're next. That'll be two dollars, please. Never mind the two dollars. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Hey. Hurry up! Oh. Open wide. Ah. Ah, that's a happy little dungeon. Mmm. Mm. Oh, there's some echo in here. Well, now. Uh, never mind about that. When a tooth's no good, you pull it. Please, I'm the dentist. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, you know, he's right. Well, now. All right. Open wide. We did it. Oh, <laughs> it's all right. We'll get right into the important stuff here. Real wide now. Get something. Hey, hey. Very I thought you were going to pull it. Well, I have to dig a little toe hole for the pliers. This won't hurt hey. us at all. Just. Please, no singing. Uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> got a tonsil. I'm sorry. Mm. Ah. Oh, that hair on the inside, too. There you are. Nothing to it at all. Oh, we're starting to burn a little wood here. Ready now. <laughs> Oh, we're getting warm. There you are. There you are. Jerry. Now, if you just look. Oh, well. Do you mind moving your tongue over a little? Oh, I didn't think you were that tough. Let's uh, see here. Oh. Oh. Ah, don't swallow it. Don't swallow it. Don't swallow it, please. Oh. That's funny. I have one just like it. I... Oh. You hungry little thing, you. I... Well, so that's what Horace Greeley meant. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> You've got just the kind of mouth I'd like to work on. I'm... Listen, Weasel. I came here to get a tooth pulled. This one. Oh, the one next to the gold one. Savvy? I know, I know. We'll find it. Don't worry about a thing. It's a cinch. We get to it sooner or later. I'm a very sensitive man. Don't hurt me. All right, now just relax. What's that? Well, it's laughing gas. That's why they call me painless potter. I use it on all my patients. Is it safe? Well, it's the safest thing in the world. Would you mind paying me now? Come on. The one next to the gold one. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Is it coming through? Yeah. Feel anything? Yeah. Must be a leak around here. <laughs> 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 Is it doing it to you? Huh? Bye bye. <laughs> Come on, dearie. You're next. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I pull 
the wrong tooth. <laughs> Got the one with the nugget in it. <laughs> <I'll> just... <laughs> so you pulled the wrong tooth. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I'm going to give you just 15 minutes to get out of town. <laughs> Last time they gave me 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got any whiskey? Dad's got some. Yeah, here. Come on. Doc, get up! Get up! Say, I must be running out of customers. I'm pulling my own teeth. Oh, get up, Doc. Hurry! They're shooting upstairs. Huh? Come on and do something! Shooting? I'll do something, all right. I'm clearing out of here. I'm going back east where men may not be men, but they're not corpses either. I've had enough. Don't give your right names. Warm up, kids. We're moving again. Federal agent. Joining wagon train, Buffalo Flats. Get me out! Get me out! I've been chased by women before, but not while I was awake. I'll take over now. Yeah, you drive a while. Who wants to watch the road? I'm gonna join that wagon train. Come on! Head them any way you like. What am I saying? That's Indian country out there. Well, you're not afraid of a few Indians, are you? Oh, no, it's not the Indians I'm afraid of. It's their attitudes. They're hatchet happy. I'm heading back home, Washington, D.C. I'm gonna join that wagon train. Yeah, you can't join them without a wagon. Make up your mind. Are you going with me? You got yourself a traveling companion. Keep traveling. Boy, can you kiss? <laughs> huh? Sorry I had to do that, son. But this is a big job. There's a wagon train going west. You'll both join it. Hunter will pose as your husband. It's not speed that we're interested in, it's secrecy. As man and wife, you'll be lost in the crowd on that wagon train. You 
wouldn't let a girl go on a wagon train alone, would you? Painless, you're just the man I've been hoping to meet. Painless, there's something about you that appeals to me. Wake up, stupid. I'm proposing to you. I'm in love with you. I said I'm in love with you. And I want to marry you. What's going on? Why, oh, sure, I'll marry you, dear. Huh? I knew the moment your lips touched mine that we were meant for each other. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me hear you say it again. Tell me you'll marry me. Me? Tell me you'll marry me. Oh, the way you kiss, how can I refuse? I now pronounce you man and wife. The ring, please. The wedding ring is a token of the solemn vows you have just taken. This ring is a symbol of your affection, sincerity, and fidelity. Ah, at last. And now, the kiss. Not me, you fool! Her! Well, howdy, folks. Welcome. Uh, what's your hand? Oh, Potter. Mr. and Mrs. Painless Peter Potter. I'm Mr. Glad to have you with us. Yeah, just uh, make yourself to home, folks. Oh, thank you. I'll unhitch the horses, and then we can uh, talk. Well, I'll unhitch the horses. What are you trying to do? Blow yourself up, you little... Shut up. Come on, you kids. Get out of here. I told you to keep that canvas lashed down tight. It's a good thing he didn't see it. Ah, uh -huh, just as I thought. That wisdom tooth has got to come out. <laughs> he don't look like no federal agent to me. But that's the wagon that left town right after the killing. I can see you 10.30 Tuesday. Painless. That's my wife. Philly to you. <laughs> From now on, I probably won't have a minute to myself. Painless. Yes. Oh, what are you doing to that poor girl, you glorious beast? Yes, darling? Would you loosen my stays a little, honey? Well, it's not my regular work, but I... Here, maybe I can work it out better this way. Now, you can't do it like that. Well, it was an idea. Say, they're rugged, aren't they? Made a whalebone. Just call me Moby Dick. Hey, you know, it's a funny thing. We've been married two hours, and this is the closest I've gotten to you. Well, you're so strong, silent, and unapproachable. You want to bet? Tell me something about yourself. You seem so mysterious. All I know is that you came from Washington, D.C. <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of things you haven't told me. I'll unload a little information at a time. That's the way to keep a girl interested. Who tied these for you, a sailor? And another thing. You never told me why you left Fort Deerfield in such a hurry. 
Well, I had a little trouble, but it's all cleared up now. There. Hey, why worry about my past? Let's work out our future. That's our man, all right. Going west in the covered wagon. That's my kind of life. Blazing new frontiers, facing danger, privation, and death. Is that my kind of life? Now, remember, Painless, you promised to love, honor, and protect me. Yeah, let's do it in the order named. All right, get moving, folks. We'll get a good early start. The sooner we get past that Indian country, the better. Indian country. Do we have to go that way? Now, Painless, I'll be with you. You're not afraid, are you? No. I can always get another scalp. Let's go. Yeah. All right, folks, let's get going. My husband. We'll take this trail to the right. Yeah, we better. That one leads deep into Indian country. Well, let's get going. We got a long haul before night. All right. Western Ranch is just a branch of nowhere junction to me. Give me the city where living's pretty and the gals wear finery. East is east and west is west. I get him trading in for a pair of turtles. Get up, Stanislaus. Come on, Clifton.
All you had to do was follow the wagon in front of you. I think we're going in the wrong direction. Yeah, well, maybe this is a shortcut. Maybe we're way ahead of them. Oh, shut up. Yes, ma'am. Well, I guess we can stay in this blockhouse for the night. We'll get our bearings in the morning. Night? Morning? Yes, ma'am. We're bedding down here for the night. Take them back to the corral. Hurry, quickly. On, Bring your own blanket. Come on. Come on, Gramps. We'll help you. Look what I'm going, Ma. Oh, oh, Jimmy, keep your hands off of things. Go Come on. on, hurry up. Get in. Come on, kids. Is it all right yeah, in there? Yeah, it's yeah, pretty good. Come you on, kids, buddy. make up your own beds now. Come on. All right, it's the best we can do now. Gee, it's dark in here. I'm scared. Put that down, Johnny. Must be the maid's day off. Mm. Looks like a likely spot, Joe. Hey, Crowdface, ladies first, then me. Well, this looks like it. Alley you. Just think, someday there'll be a sign in that door, painless potter slept here. Well, don't put it up yet. No, I got my hands full now. <laughs> Tomorrow night, you carry me. <laughs> Isn't the moonlight romantic? Yeah, light the candle. Yeah. Candlelight's romantic, too. We don't need dust to blow in. Yes? Would you get me a drink of cold water, please? Water? Cold? Cold water. Well, that adds up. All right. If I'm not back in three minutes, you'll know I fell in the well. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. It's your husband, darling. <laughs> you. I'm back, honey. Got your cold water. My, you're blushing right down to your little tootsies, aren't you? Here you are, Cuddles. There you are. I'm sorry. 
My, but you're an odd girl. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I'm glad I picked a wife with a sense of humor. Uh, is everything all right? My, but you're a muscular little thing, aren't you? Those dresses are awfully deceiving. Smooth, smooth. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to tickle you. Isn't that sweet? You put your hair up in braids. Oh, that's nice. Come on out, Mrs. Potter. <laughs> I know you're modest, but it's all right. I'll keep my eyes closed. Come on, doll. Oh, oh. Now come close to me, wifey. Come close to me. Oh, can you kiss? <laughs> Wake up. Oh, good morning, honey. You got up early. Start moving. We got to get out of here. Yeah? <laughs> Say, I don't know what happened last night, darling, but thanks for a lovely evening. Well, you're sure easy to please. <laughs> oh, I can't get over your kisses. <laughs> I think I married a mental case. Must be a Virginia creeper. <laughs> Gotta make myself pretty. I owe it to the little woman. <laughs> I'm shaving too close. Boy, I'm certainly a nervous wreck. <laughs> it's an arrow. Someone had to shoot. Who shoots arrows? Cupid? No, it couldn't be Cupid. William Tell? No, that's silly. It couldn't be William Tell. No apple. <laughs> Indians. <laughs> Indians. Could be. Indians! Indians! Oh! What? Okay, get it! Wait, get it! Wait! Open up! Open up! Look, it's me! Oh, they want to make a pen cushion out of me! Open up! Pick up those guns and take care of yourself. Let me in! You're too young to be a widow! Take care of myself! Look, there's a million Indians out here against one coward! I hope they're loaded. I wish I was too. I got him. I think. It's a cinch. There's a pile for you. Oh, we was wrong about that, Denders. He's doing some mighty fancy shooting. Bullet. 
Let's keep it neat. Ha <laughs> ha. Not. They started it. Say, how come you got lost? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. He saved the whole wagon train. Yeah, he did it by himself. I never saw such shooting. Oh, best shot in the West. He knew the engines was on your trail, and he decoyed them away from the rest of the wagons. I did? Oh, oh, he's right. That's what I did. I did that. You're a hero, son. Yeah? You can have my rifle. Oh, thanks, Dad. I'll knock off a couple of Indians for you. Man, oh, please. Oh. He's got eyes in the back of his head. My darling. You never said anything about being a dead shot. Well, I told you I'd give you a little information at a time. <laughs> hey, son, on behalf of the wagon train, I want to thank you for what you've done. Oh, you saved an awful lot of lives. Oh, yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'd like to say a few words. Oh, well, let's get out of here before them redskins come back. Those are the words. Well, all right. Julie, the way, doctor. Okay. Nothing to be scared of now. You got the courage of a lion, doctor. Oh, it's nothing. Brave men run in my family. Come on. Hurry up, folks. We're off to Buffalo Flats. Off to Buffalo Flats. Yahoo! Off to Buffalo Flats. Yahoo! Off to Buffalo. Our hero. Most inopportune time. Boss, we've got some pretty important news. Oh, I'm sure you have. Somehow I can always sense when one of my associates bungles a job. What have you messed up this time? There's a new federal agent coming in on the wagon train. Why did you let him through? <laughs> Ranger, I like you. And I like you, Red. Pepper, there's Joe. Hey. The next guy that messes around my gal gets the same thing. Wagon trains here. Come on. Come on. Drag the gentleman out. What's all the excitement out in front? You're giving a welcome to that guy we told you about. Well, I spoke the biggest hero that this West has ever seen, yes, sir. Please, it was nothing. Anyone could have done it. Anyone who was strong, courageous, and a dead shot. <laughs> is that our fearless federal agent? Don't let his looks fool you. He's a cold-blooded murderer. Calls himself a dentist. Painless potter, but that's just a front. It ain't gonna be easy to put him away. He's got eyes in the back of his head. But we can put him away. Pepper, do you think you could learn to love a dentist, a short romance? I don't think it would be too difficult. Hey, I'd like to be in his I wonder what the cowards are doing. Oh. You and your high heels. Oh, then I please shake your head. My little boy wants to touch you. Oh, no, no. Please, sir. No, no. Easy, girls. Easy. I'm tired. I've been fighting Indians all day. Oh. But I may give you a moment later. Don't give up. Oh, you're so wonderful. Oh. And keep cheering. Oh, yeah. What happened to the band? 
proud to have you as our guest. Very right. happy to be here. Mr. and Mrs. Painless Potter with baggage. Mr. and Mrs. Would you like a boy? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Boy. Yes, sir. Boy? <laughs> Will you unhitch my horses, feed him some hay, and have some for yourself, huh? Thanks. I never touch the stuff. All right. Here you are, sir. Thank you very much. We're all set, honey. Room with running water. They got a guy who'll run for it. Isn't this wonderful? Okay, let's wait. You don't want to leave all this. Well, that's all right. I can wave to him from the window upstairs. Come oh, on. Just too modest to understand. You're a legend now. A hero. A man apart. Yeah, and we've been apart too long. Come on, honey. Let... Look outside. Once that was a forest, then it became a trail, then a town, and someday it'll be a city. Yeah, that's what I like, progress, and I'm not making any. Someday it'll be a city with a statue of a great man. And you know whose statue it'll be? Yeah, the guy who invented keys. Let's use it. Come no, on. No. It'll be a statue of Painless Potter. Huh? And under that statue, it'll read Painless Potter. Successor to Wild Bill Hickok and Buffalo Bill Cody. The intrepid hero who saved an entire wagon train by killing 11 Indians. Twelve. So you see, dear, that's why it wouldn't be fair for me to take you away from these people and not give them a chance to express their gratitude. Yeah, I guess. Hey, wait a minute. What's this all about? Well, I might as well come clean painless. Our marriage won't work. You're a hero now, and I'm just a little nobody. You belong to the people. This is the end of the road. We're through. Through? Mm -hmm. Say, what's going on here? You and I just got together. Yeah, you... you might just as well face it, Painless. It's over, that's all. Oh. Oh, this is great. This is... I give up my career. I bring you out here in a wagon train and save your life by killing 13 Indians, and now you're going to give me the kiss off. Oh. Well, you're not the only dame. There are a lot of other fish in the sea, and I'm going out and cast some bait. Goodbye, Painless. That's all right, if that's the way you feel. But I promise you one thing, you'll come crawling back to me in your hands and knees. And do you think I'll be there? Goodbye. I'll show her. Fine hero, through. All right. Hi. Uh, how'd you like a little conversation with a hero? Why, I'd be tickled to death. Follow me. You, Hank Billings? That's what the sign says. just came in on the wagon train. Before I left Fort Deerfield, I saw a friend of yours named a Hunter, Jim Hunter. Seems a shame a man like Hunter getting killed just so you can play cagey. That trip from Fort Deerfield? Come up and cool off. I put my tobacco. <laughs> now I know why they sent a woman. Well, you know what you're getting into? You've landed smack dab right in the middle of the lowest down skunk of a scheme they ever smeared across the West. Landed feet first, too. Reckon that's how you're gonna get carried out of it. Just skip the big talk. <laughs> All right, gal. Sit down. Sit 
Somebody is running guns into the Indians. Enough rifles to massacre every white man in the Hulk territory. I can't understand why they ain't attacked already. Maybe they're waiting for this. Where'd you get that dynamite? Two loads came in on the wagon train. Someone's gonna pick it up, and we gotta find out who. What's your plan? Whoever killed Jim Hunter found out there was a federal agent after him. But they didn't know who it was. I steered him onto the wrong party. A husband I picked up in Fort Deerfield named of Painless Potter. They'll kill him? Sure. That's right. They'll think the federal agent's dead. Then I can operate. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Where's the high life around here? Right over in the Dirty Shame Saloon. Spread out. Isn't he a dandy? He's a humdinger. Here he comes, folks! Welcome, welcome. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we have a celebrity in our midst. It's a rare privilege to shake the hand of the greatest Indian fighter west of the Mississippi. You can include these two, son. Watch it, watch it, my trigger finger. I'd consider it a honor if you would join me. Heard you, partner, heard you. You were saying... What do you have, my friend? Never mind the chaser. Gonna be in town long. How about a dance? How about a dance? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't fight over me, gals. I'll be around a while. Take it slow. You know, this could become habit for me. Move in, honey. Don't get shut out. Tell us how you did. Yes, sir. Stand by. I may raffle myself off later. For me. <laughs> this town ain't big enough. The streets ain't long enough for me to get away. Meet around the corner about half past eight. Oh, honey, what we'll do? The West ain't rough enough, the joints ain't tough enough to keep me from the one I crave. Meet around the corner now, don't be late. You'll see how I behave when we're alone. Possessing my best caressing, I'll be your own, honey. You're the kind to make me lose my mind. One kiss ain't strong enough, a kiss ain't long enough. Gotta kiss you night and day. Meet you around the corner, any old corner. Meet ya any time you say ho, 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 see ya as you're new here. Soon as I'm through here, I'll kiss ya in my own sweet way. Ho, 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 meet ya around the corner, any old corner. Meet ya any time you say. You got a cigar on your sister? Come on, handsome, let's dance. Take me away. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Don't do it, Joe. This guy is a killer. What's the trouble, stranger? I don't like nobody fooling around my gal. Yeah, well, I got news for you. I ain't fooling. Now get. You ain't scaring nobody. This town ain't big enough for you and me. I'll give you the sundown to get out. That's the usual time, ain't it? At sundown, I'll be out looking for you. I'll be waiting. And I'll be looking. He plum riled me. Four fingers of red eye. I always feel like a drink before a killing. A thumb, too. <laughs> Nothing stronger, huh? Almost down, honey. Yeah. This little doll is just itching for another notch. Here, wear this for good luck. Yeah, but men don't wear these. Oh, yeah. Sure, kid. Thanks. Hey, listen. The man that's after you just killed my brother. Here's a tip. He draws from the left, so lean to the right. He draws to the left, so lean to the right. Son, I'll let you in on something. Long towards sunset, there's a wind from the east. So you better aim to the west. Across the left, so lean to the right, there's a wind from the east, so better aim to the west. I know this Joe like a book. He crouches when he shoots. So stand on your toes. He draws from the left, so lean to the right, there's a wind from the east, better aim to the west. He crouches when he shoots, so stand on your toes. Thanks. Ah. Problems taken care of. Draw us to the left, so stand on your toes. As a wind from the east, better lean to the right. He crouches when he shoots, better aim to the west. He draws from his toes, so lean towards the wind. Ha ha, I got it. Watch it, watch it. Watch it. <laughs> Better warm up a little. Wind shifted.
awesome to win. Celine, when you stand. No. Stands on his crouch with his toes in the wind. Idea. I nearly made a mistake. <laughs> There's an old saying, when you're hunting a mountain lion, stake out a goat. Yeah, the lion gets a goat and... And we get the lion. You'd better get rid of the dynamite. Get a hold of yellow feather. Now you try and find out where they're hiding that dynamite. And I'll round up our goat. Hey! I got him sooner, but a trick. That's what'll work for you. Stick around and make you wealthy. Hurry, boys, I may have to pose for a statue. <laughs> Fooled you that time, didn't I? I have to be a hero. Oh, you great, big, wonderful man. I told you my guard would bring you good luck. Oh, thanks. Lucky thing I had a gun, too. How about a great big smack for Pepper? Well, uh... Sounds like a good idea. I don't want anybody fooling with my man. I've come back to you, darling. What's that, stranger? I didn't realize how much I loved you until I saw how brave you were. Please forgive me. Well, you didn't come crawling back in your hands and knees, but I'll weaken. You may kiss my cheek. Should we go to our room, dear? That seems fair. My arm, Mrs. Potter. Ah, over here. That's my shooting side. Be right with you, honey. Yeah, that ought to take care of the tourists. Gee, I never thought I'd find a girl who would fight over me. Boy, when you hit her with that right. I... Remember, honey, I'm on your side. <laughs> Why, of course, dear. I'm your wife. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Yeah. Come. Come close to me, wifey. Oh, that was delightful. Let's try another one, huh? <laughs> you poor kid. I'm sorry I had to do that. What's the matter with me? I must be getting soft. 
when he shoots, so I aimed at the... Jane. Painless, do you love me? Oh, I'm, I'm yours, body and soul. Will you do anything for me without asking questions? Oh, naturally, darling. Well, then listen carefully. There's dynamite hidden in the undertaker's parlor. Someone's going to come calling for it tonight, and I want you to go down there and find out who they are. Oh, easy, gal. Are you trying to get rid of me again? Please, Painless, I can't tell you why now, but this is important. You must go. I don't must anything. Any other girl would be tickled pink to be alone with a guy who's killed 14 Indians for. But not you. Every time we're alone, you try to give me the old heave hole. 20 years of my life. Our whole life together depends on this. Will you go? And what if I don't? What then? Well, I couldn't blame you. But all I can say is that I'm depending on you more than I've depended on anyone else before, ever. Please. All right. I'll go. But it's the last time you'll make a monkey out of me. And you know that statue you told me about? Well, tell him to carve on it. Painless Potter, Schmo. I'll be seeing you. You too. Hey, look. Hey, what's that? Some other guy you kissed? I'll explain well, later. There's no time for questions now. Please yeah, but, trust in me. Oh, well, I don't understand this whole situation. Please, you got to... Please. Well, all right, I'm going. Don't get the idea that I'm scared or nervous. <laughs> because, well, wait a minute. Because I'm not. I... Who... Sick a mouse on you. Stuff out of here fast. We're using the dentist's wagon in case there's a slip up. Yeah. 
Come on, hurry it up. Take it easy. Reach you, varmints, or I'll tattoo you the hard way. Uh huh. I know all about you and your dynamite. You were going to give it to the Indians, huh? Well, now I'm going to take you down to the sheriff's office and have them talk about your future. If any, I get going. <laughs> Painless Potter rides again. I... You were captured, too. I've been meaning to tell you anyway. And hearing those drums, I figured this was my last chance. Then it wasn't me that shot all those Indians? And I didn't even shoot Joe? And any minute I could have been killed? Now I worry. Saying I'm sorry is like spitting in your eye. But I'm saying it. Me, a hero. Boy, I couldn't save a clam from a bowl of chowder. I bet I handed you a lot of laughs. What a sucker I've been. What a boob. There ain't low enough words for what I've done to you, Payless. There are now. I just thought of a couple of new ones. And all the time, I thought you were about the finest thing that ever came into my life. That's what sticks in my craw. Painless. What now? There's one more thing I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you that I love you. Is this another laugh? No. I think you're the kindest, bravest man I've ever known. Oh, sure. And I want to tell you this now because we may not get out of this alive. Yeah, well, if it hadn't been for you, you... Hey. Well, what do you know? What's the matter? No stars. Oh. Oh. You're trying to dirty my scalp, even before you get it? Oh! Oh. Not so good. Me, Yellow Feather, the chief of tribe. Me, great pale-faced warrior. Oh. Well, I think you got the wrong person. She's a... Yeah, me very big, pale face warrior. You strong here. Yeah, heap big heap. Pale face, more brave than all white warriors. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Yellow fella, know you kill 11 his best braves. 15. Painless, tell him the truth. 11. That's not what I mean. Yellow feather, he didn't have anything to do with this. I got him into the Oh, Let Better breathe. Pale-faced warrior get much praise. 
My tribe make big honor. Fine. Yellow Feather, please. No, not that. Not to him. Huh? How? Yeah, I'll let you know. Yeah, I don't know what he said, but it didn't sound like he was inviting me to a picnic. What did he say? I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, but I don't like surprises. Am I going to get shot by arrows, burned at the stake, boiled in a pot? Am I getting warm? Painless, can you take it? No, but tell me anyway. Well, with Indians, the bigger hero you are, the greater the torture. Yeah, but what can they do? What's left? Two trees. They bend one tree down. Then they bend the other tree down. And they tie one of your legs to this tree. My other? And they tie your other leg to this tree. Then they cut the ropes. That's me? If I were a chicken bone, I could make a wish. Ah! Wheel! At a time like this, he has to be off key. Ah! Don't pull, you'll get your half. Yeah, that's your story. I think it's time I told you I'm not this brave. Just think I'll be traveling east and west at the same time. Painless! Painless! Oh, don't worry, honey. Maybe in the next world you'll meet two nice fellas. Look close. They'll both be me. Let's be fair. Gina! Gina! still there. And it's up to me to save her. Hold it, Impulsive. Those Indians grab you, you know what'll happen to you. We don't like that, do we? What are you, man or mouse? I'm not a mouse and I'm not a man. I'm a dentist. Yeah, but the girl loves you. Yeah. Yeah, and I love her, too. But if they get me, my life won't be worth a plug nickel. What would your life be worth without her? Oh, now, don't get sentimental with me. Let's look at it logically. I go back there, those Indians will part my hair clear down to my toes. How can that help Jane? Suit yourself. Don't you think you can spend those long evenings just thinking about how you might have saved her? It's, it's all right with me. It's... Oh, stop, stop. I'll go. But don't forget, I'll always hate you for being so stubborn. Besides, I have to pick up my other boot. How? Now, you like to trade? Clothes? Me take those, huh? I get? 
fight you. Chief, this completes our part of the bargain. You bring long rifles, dynamite. An ample supply. All is in order. Esta, extra. You low-down, stinking little coyote. So you're hey, hold it, hold it, hold it. Well, that's your federal agent. What are you going to do with her? Burn. Take more than a governor's pardon to save you now. What? Esta, extra. This is your hubby, painless. Hubby, hubby. Hubby, hubby. Ho, ho, hubby. Medicine man, come back. Burn him. Burn him with white squaw. Oh, just stop. I'll save you. Who are they going to burn over there? The medicine man. Serves them right for practicing without a license. Yahoo! I got a food, all right. Yeah, they think you're the medicine man. They're going to burn at the stake. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Me? Move, I'll try to lead him away. Something might work out.
I tell you, I'd save you. Like somebody's been cooking cauliflower in here. Come on, come on, get out of here. I'll see you around. I love it, Quinn. You fellas, wait for me. you want, honey. Why, we'll get the... Get back, it's not safe. Yes, ma'am. They're walking right into our trap. <laughs> my dental diploma. ending? 